The mysterious stone spheres of Costa Rica. Deep within the rainforests of Costa Rica lie the mysterious stone spheres of Diquis. These perfect round stones varying in size from small to massive have fascinated scientists and explorers for ages. Crafted with incredible precision, these spheres, made from the tough rock called granodiorite, leave experts baffled about how ancient civilizations achieved such perfect symmetry. The purpose of these enigmatic spheres is a puzzle that continues to stump researchers. Some think they were used for religious or astronomical reasons, while others believe they served as markers for navigation or territorial boundaries. There's even speculation that they might be remnants of a lost ancient civilization or have extraterrestrial origins. These stone spheres are not just curiosities. They hold deep cultural and historical importance for the indigenous people of Costa Rica. Recognizing their significance, the site has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Despite ongoing efforts to unravel their mysteries, many questions about the origin and meaning of the stone spheres remain unanswered. The journey to understand these ancient artifacts serves as a testament to the brilliance of our ancestors. The stones also remind us that our planet's history is full of wonders yet to be discovered, holding secrets that could illuminate the diverse and rich tapestry of our past. The anomalous 1911 airship photo, back in 1911, a picture caused quite a stir, sparking debates and raising eyebrows. This photograph showed a fancy airship hovering over Huntington, West Virginia, and it had everyone talking. What's truly puzzling about this picture is the airship's design. It looks way more advanced than anything from that time, with its sleek shape, numerous propellers, and the ability to carry lots of passengers. This was a far cry from the simple dirigibles and balloons commonly seen in the early 1900s. What's even more surprising is that it predates the first Zeppelin-style airship in the United States by several years. People have come up with various ideas to explain this photo. Some think it might be a high-tech invention from a genius inventor ahead of their time. Others suggest it could be a prank or an early Photoshop trick, but there's no evidence of tampering found in the photo. The person who took the picture and their reasons for doing so remain a mystery. Despite all the theories, the 1911 airship photo remains a peculiar piece of history that's not easy to explain. It gives us a peek into a mystery still waiting to be solved and adds an interesting twist to the story of human flight. The Mystery of the Time Travelling Hipster In 2010, an interesting photo from 1941 made waves, capturing the reopening of the South Forks Bridge in Goldbridge, British Columbia. While the crowd in the picture fits the time, there's one guy that stands out, the so-called time-travelling hipster. This guy is dressed like he just stepped out of our time, wearing a logo t-shirt, a hoodie and sunglasses, all out of place in the 1940s. And to add to the mystery, he's holding a camera that looks way too modern. Some folks have tried to explain it. They say the sunglasses were kind of okay for the time. The logo on his shirt could be from a Montreal Maroons hockey team sweater available in the 1940s, and the camera might be an unusual Kodak folding pocket model from back then. But even with these explanations, the strange feeling that this guy doesn't belong in 1941 remains. People have debated this photo a lot, both in serious discussions and online communities. Some even throw around wild ideas of time travel. But no matter what, this time-traveling hipster stays a mystery, whether he's a time traveler, a fashion oddball, or just a weird illusion in a historical photo. The intrigue around this guy keeps us scratching our heads. The unidentified flying object in the Madonna. Let's delve into the mysterious world of historical paintings, where strange and out-of-place things sometimes pop up. Take the 15th century painting Madonna with St. Giovannino, credited to the Italian artist Domenico Ghirlandaio. The painting shows the Virgin Mary with baby St. John the Baptist on her left shoulder Pretty standard stuff. But here's the twist. In the background, there's a bizarre glowing object. This glowing thing catches the eye of a man and his dog in the painting. The man appears to shield his eyes, suggesting that this object is pretty bright. Now, some folks look at this and think, hey, could this be an early UFO sighting? They argue that the shape and glow of the object make it seem like an unidentified flying object. Plus, it has these rays of light coming out of it giving it a real otherworldly vibe. On the flip side, skeptics say, 
Hold on, maybe it's a religious thing. They think the object might represent something divine, like an angel or the Holy Spirit, common themes in artwork from that time. Others toss around ideas like the Star of Bethlehem or a heavenly sign. Despite all the theories, the true meaning of this strange object in the painting remains a mystery. The Madonna with Saint Giovannino is a curious case that adds to the ongoing debates about what's really going on in historical artworks, especially when they seem to show things that shouldn't be there. The Piri Race Map Let's dive into the puzzling world of maps with the Piri Race Map, named after its creator, the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Reis. This map, dating back to 1513, has left historians and scientists scratching their heads since its discovery. Imagine this, a world map focusing on Europe, North Africa and parts of the Americas, all drawn in 1513. Now, what's truly baffling is how accurately it depicts the coastlines, especially in South America. Back in 1513, folks in Europe were still figuring out the New World, but this map shows details that shouldn't have been possible at the time. What's even more mind-boggling is its portrayal of the Antarctic coast without ice. The last time experts think Antarctica was ice-free is around 34 million years ago, way before humans were even a thing. So how did Piri Reis get hold of such info? He mentioned using ancient sources, some of which don't exist anymore. Could these have been maps from an ancient civilization with super-advanced map skills? Skeptics chime in, saying maybe the Antarctic part is a guess, a mix-up, or a misinterpretation of South America. They argue that maybe the map reflects what sailors of that time thought the world looked like, not necessarily a spot on record. But no matter the explanations, the Peary race map keeps researchers scratching their heads. Its weird quirks and surprising accuracy show just how complicated history can be and how smart our ancestors were. The 1964 Solway Firth Spaceman photograph, now, Let's talk about a real head-scratcher from 1964 during a calm family outing. Jim Templeton, a firefighter from Carlisle, England, took a snapshot of his daughter in a field near Solway Firth. But when the photo developed, there was something strange in the background. A spaceman. Or at least that's what it looked like. This figure is this tall, white-clad thing with a helmet or visor, just standing there with its back to the camera. Here's the kicker. Templeton insisted nobody else was around when he took the photo. Kodak and police photographers even checked the film for any funny business, but found nothing. Now, skeptics say, hold on, that spaceman might just be Templeton's wife accidentally caught in the shot. They think her blue dress got overexposed, turning it white in the photo. The helmet? That could be her hair, and the supposed visor might just be the shadow of her hair across her face. Despite these down-to-earth explanations, people can't stop talking about this photo. It's been on TV shows, documentaries, sparking wild ideas about aliens, time travelers, and beings from other dimensions. The Solway Firth Spaceman mystery stays an iconic piece of history that keeps us all wondering. The anachronistic 1930s beach photograph. Now, let's chat about a photo from the 1930s that adds a twist to an ordinary beach scene in British Columbia, Canada. Among the beachgoers in their typical 1930s gear, there's one guy who sparked quite the mystery, the surfing time traveler. Here's the deal. This guy stands out because he's rocking modern clothes, a graphic t-shirt, shorts, and a hairstyle more fitting for the late 20th or early 21st century than the 1930s. Some folks jump to the idea that he's a time traveler, but skeptics say, hold up, let's think practically. They suggest that the guy's modern looking t-shirt might just be a rolled up sweater and his shorts. Well, they could be rolled up slacks, both totally reasonable for a hot day at the beach. As for the hairstyle, maybe it's just windblown or wet hair, not a fashion statement from the future. Even with these sensible explanations, the photo keeps people talking. The surfing time traveller, whether he's a real time travelling dude, a fashion forward guy, or just a camera trick, still brings a hint of mystery. His image challenges our ideas about history, making us wonder what's really going on in that seemingly ordinary beach scene from the past. The Voynich Manuscript's Enigmatic Images Let's dive into the mystery of the Voynich Manuscript, named after Wilfred Voynich, the Polish book dealer who got his hands on it in 1912. 
This 15th century book is like a puzzle wrapped in a riddle, leaving even the smartest folks scratching their heads. Picture this, a codex filled with weird drawings and a text in a language nobody can figure out. The illustrations are a mix of botanical stuff, star charts, women having baths, and pharmaceutical doodles. The catch, none of these match anything we know. The plant drawings don't look like any real plants, and the star charts have constellations and planets that don't match what modern astronomers know. Over the years, people have thrown around theories. Some say it's a pharmacopoeia, others think it's an alchemical text, and some even believe it's just made up stories. But no matter how many times folks try to crack the code, the text and the meaning behind those strange drawings remain a big question mark. The Voynich manuscript is like a super puzzling artifact in history books. Its intriguing pictures and mysterious text invite us into a world full of secrets, mysteries, and the thrill of not knowing. The Nazca Lines from above. Let's talk about the Nazca Lines in Peru. These massive drawings etched into the desert by the ancient Nazca people. They've been a source of wonder and puzzlement for ages, especially when you see them from the sky, animals, plants, and geometric shapes that you can only fully appreciate from above. Now, here's the head scratcher. The Nazca folks lived almost 2,000 years ago. How in the world did they create these enormous artworks that you can only really see from the air? Some folks have thrown around ideas. Maybe it was for religious or astronomical reasons, like a giant observatory or a map of underground water sources. Others think it could be part of rituals to summon water. But here's the tricky part. These theories don't quite explain everything. They don't tell us why the Nazca lines are so massive and precise, or why they picked these specific shapes. And most importantly, they don't clarify how the Nazca people managed to keep that aerial perspective to create such accurate drawings on such a grand scale. People have come up with all sorts of interpretations, from thinking the lines were extraterrestrial landing strips to giant astronomical calendars. But here's the reality. These incredible geoglyphs, best seen from a high-up viewpoint the Nazca people seemingly couldn't have had, still stand as a big unsolved mystery in our human history. The Hook Island Sea Monster Photograph. Let's dive into the mysterious world beneath the waves with the Hook Island Sea Monster, a captivating story from 1964. Robert Lacarec, a Frenchman on vacation in Australia, snapped a photo that's become quite the head-scratcher. In the picture, you see this massive tadpole-like creature, stretching about 70 to 80 feet, hanging out in the shallow waters of Stonehaven Bay at Hook Island. It's got a discernible head, an eye, and a sinuous body disappearing into the depths. Now folks have thrown around ideas. Maybe it's a leftover marine reptile from prehistoric times like a plesiosaur. Others think it could be some gigantic unknown eel or ray species, but of course there's the skeptic's view. Some say it might just be a prank, like a plastic sheet arranged to look like a sea monster. Despite the doubts, this photo has stirred imaginations for years. The Hook Island sea monster stands as a marine mystery that keeps folks intrigued, making it a cool part of the stories in cryptozoology. That's the study of hidden or unknown animals. The alleged 1870s Billy the Kid photo. Let's talk about a photo that stirred up quite the historical debate. In 2010, someone snagged a tintype photograph at a memorabilia shop for two bucks, claiming it features the infamous outlaw Billy the Kid. The picture shows Billy and his gang, the Regulators, having a casual game of croquet. Now, if this is the real deal, it would only be the second confirmed image of Billy the Kid, making it crazy valuable, potentially worth millions. But, and there's always a but, confirming its authenticity has been a bit tricky. Facial recognition software says the guy in the croquet photo matches the kid in the known photograph. Yet, there are doubters. Some historians question if the scene makes sense, Croquet seems a bit fancy for rough-and-tumble outlaws. Despite the controversy, this photo has everyone buzzing. It got its own National Geographic documentary, and it's got historians, forensic analysts, and Old West fans all curious. Whether it's a priceless piece of history, or just a snapshot of some anonymous folks from the 19th century, this alleged Billy the Kid photo shows how even a simple image can kick up a historical storm of questions and speculation. The eerie 1920s levitation photograph. Let's step back into the 1920s when a photograph sent shockwaves through society. In this image, 
we see Colin Evans, a spiritualist medium known for his seances, seemingly levitating in mid-air. Evans conducted his sessions in the dark, using only sporadic flashes from a camera to light up the scene. The photo captures the astonishment of onlookers as Evans floats. Now here's where it gets interesting. Critics say it's all staged, possibly using hidden supports or wires. On the flip side, supporters insist it's proof of Evans's claimed spiritual powers. Regardless of what you believe, this levitation photo of Colin Evans serves as a historical reminder of how fascinated people were with the supernatural back then. It also shows the lengths individuals would go to offer proof of such phenomena. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, this image remains a captivating piece of unexplained history. The Ubaid Lizardman Statuettes Picture this, archaeologists digging up mysterious objects that leave us scratching our heads. One of these head scratches is the Ubaid Lizardman statuettes found at the ancient site of Al Ubaid in Iraq. This settlement goes way back, predating even the Sumerian civilization. Now, here's the twist. These little terracotta figures, dating back to 4000, 5000 BC, have a human-like shape, but sport some distinct reptilian features. Think elongated heads, almond-shaped eyes and scaly skin. Some of these statuettes even show the lizard folks doing everyday things like nursing babies or holding leadership staffs. These Ubaid Lizardman statuettes are like a riddle from the past, a reminder that our ancestors had some mysterious aspects to their lives. They keep us wondering about their beliefs, rituals and artistic expressions, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the story of ancient cultures. The Unexplainable Fairy Circles of Namibia now let's explore the arid grasslands of the Namib Desert in Namibia, where a fascinating natural wonder captures the attention of scientists and tourists alike. We're talking about the fairy circles, circular patches of barren land surrounded by short grass, creating a honeycomb-like pattern that you can see from above. These circles come in different sizes, ranging from a few meters to several tens of meters, spread across vast areas in Namibia. Local myths attribute these circles to divine intervention or the footsteps of gods. However, scientists have their own ideas, ranging from termites and plant competition to gas seepage and even radioactivity. Despite these theories, there's still no unanimous agreement on the exact cause. The fairy circles of Namibia keep scientists debating and the rest of us curious. It's a reminder of how nature often hides enchanting mysteries right in plain sight adding a touch of magic to the world around us. The bizarre Fresno Nightcrawlers footage. Now, let's step into the world of unexplained phenomena, and one that stands out as truly odd, the Fresno Nightcrawlers. These mysterious entities first made an appearance in a surveillance video from Fresno, California, in the late 2000s. The footage shows two short, white-legged creatures strolling across a lawn, seemingly without a torso or arms. Adding to the intrigue, a similar entity was later captured in a video in Yosemite National Park. Now here's where it gets interesting. The peculiar gait and form of these creatures defy simple explanations. People have thrown around ideas, ranging from video manipulation to extraterrestrial life forms, indigenous folklore, or even the possibility of cryptid organisms. Despite the skepticism and the lack of additional evidence, the Fresno Nightcrawler's footage keeps captivating cryptid enthusiasts and mystery lovers. It leaves us pondering the question, what strange encounters might be lurking just outside the range of our ordinary perception? The astonishing Patterson-Gimlin Bigfoot film Let's delve into one of the most famous and debated pieces of cryptid evidence, the Patterson-Gimlin film. This short motion picture, captured in 1967 in Northern California by Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin, claims to show Bigfoot in action. In the film, a large, hairy, bipedal creature strides through a clearing. Now here's where the debate kicks in. Despite countless analyses, the film's authenticity is still a hot topic. Critics argue it might be a person in a costume, while supporters insist that the creature's movements and anatomy align more with an unknown primate than a human. Whether it's a hoax or a groundbreaking discovery, 
The Patterson-Gimlin film continues to captivate us and spark discussions about the possible existence of elusive creatures hiding in the unexplored corners of our world. Thanks for watching the video and if you found it informative, please like and subscribe to Time Capsule for similar content. We look forward to sharing more knowledge with you in the future. Until then, take care.